Um, so, uh, I'm very sorry also that I wasn't able to be here uh, today in the morning and yesterday, but I'm happy I was able to join um, now. So, um, let me start. Um, the institution I work in is, uh, we're very proud and we're kind of famous for our activities abroad. Uh, among those activities we, that we conduct in uh, different places from Uruguay to, I don't know, S Siberia and uh, China, uh, we, um, we uh, worked in the Balkans for many years. And it's an interesting story, so I will uh, shortly tell you about it before I get to the my main point, which is uh, how I could uh, create a union catalog for Bal Balkan institutions holding uh, Jewish materials. Um, I was uh, very ignorant in the field before I was invited to uh, participate in uh, the program led by the National Library uh, at the source, which had uh, a seminar for the uh, cultural heritage uh, professionals in the Balkans in 2017-18 uh, uh, and um, I, I became very interested and uh, started to, uh, to research a little bit uh, what we have done uh, in the area before. So uh, actually um, before uh, Six Days uh, War, uh, Israel used to have kind of uh, relationships, not... Uh, there were relationship, diplomatic relationships, uh, relationship, maybe not uh, a very official one and warm one, but still it was possible uh, for Israel uh, uh, to work there. And uh, um, in the late 50s and early 60s, Israel sent their um, several uh, researchers uh, to conduct surveys and to see uh, the condition of the Jewish heritage that uh, remained after the World War II. So first of all, they sent uh, Yekir Eventov, of whom, about whom uh, I will uh, tell you more, uh, who did a great job for us there. And uh, afterwards, uh, also Professor uh, Uriel Haid uh, in early 60s. Uh, likely for us, um, Haid was a diplomat by profession, who, so he felt he needs to write a length, le long, uh, detailed report about his journey, which is a fascinating reading, very interesting and very emotional, uh, since, for instance, he yeah, this is uh, part of his uh, report from '63. Uh, among other places, he had visited uh, Skopje right after the earthquake. So uh, this is indeed uh, um, uh, very important and very uh, sad um, part of the of his report. Uh, also. Um, so, uh, what, what, how are archives used to work uh, abroad? First of all, uh, there should be good contact with the uh, uh, institutions and professionals in the area. Afterwards, uh, we usually try to uh, make a survey of the relevant materials in different collections. Uh, mainly, it is very important for Institute, non-Jewish institutions that hold uh, Jewish related materials and uh, then uh, after we uh, have these surveys uh, we often uh, order copies of the materials uh, of course at that period it was done on microfilm so here you, ha you see many different uh, not many but part of the uh, car catalog cards of the surveys so all these from that uh, are uh, lists of uh, relevant, uh, of Jewish uh, related uh, uh, archival uh, files and not only from uh, different uh, institutions related to different places. Um, 
in uh, the uh, former Yugoslavia. Um, yes, uh, we uh, did work a lot in the uh, Jewish Historical Museum in Belgrade. Um, I, I suppose ma many of you know that, but uh, I will uh, say it quickly. Um, after the, the war, uh, this institution that also was the center of the Federation of, um, of the Jewish Communities of Yugoslavia, received materials from all over the Yugoslavia, from all over the area, um, and became a hub uh, of uh, this documentation. Uh, unfortunately, today it's very uh, in a very bad shape, really bad shape, I've been there. Uh, but here we have, uh, uh, so we, uh, it turns out that we have better documentation of, on what they have uh, than themselves. Uh, this is just a, a list of uh, uh, materials uh, that they have sent to us uh, in uh, the 60s. Unfortunately, they, uh, uh, this is called, I think, uh, institutional memory. They lost this uh, a continuum of, uh, uh, of uh, professionals learning from, from uh, the previous generations, so they are kind of uh, um, yes, lost uh, uh, in in the in what they have regarding what they have. Okay, so this is another uh, survey of the materials from that museum, and here you see our HM two, which means Hebrew microfilm two and number, which many of you know uh, know uh, is our microfilm. So. Uh, we have a survey, list of list, list of files, and uh, uh, we know uh, we have microfilms where we have some of them copied. Uh, yes, this is uh, another case. Uh, in uh, um, this, these are just uh, some various cards, uh, also from our. This is our old catalog. This is how it looks like. Yes, this is the whole catalog of the museum of the. Uh, uh, Jewish Museum in Belgrade. Uh, this is uh, we are in Arkep, We are usually not. Uh, this is not our field. Uh, we don't work with uh, museum materials. However, we have a very thick pile of these cards that we got that are copies of the catalog in Belgrade. And uh, in Belgrade, uh, they don't know this exists, and they don't know they they, they had some th this this catalog, or they still have it. Uh, they they don't know. So yes, we, uh, of course it is valuable because uh, the, their storage, they have storage in different places, so this, is, this can be very helpful if uh, someday it is possible to, to, um, yes, to, to, to make something with it and bring it to the condition, uh, to the proper condition. This whole uh, great uh, collection of uh, materials, museum materials, and archival materials. Okay, this is uh, uh, in historical archive of Belgrade. There is a uh, um, uh, fonds of magistrate of Zeman, which is part of Belgrade, uh, Austrian part of Belgrade, where Jews uh, used to live for many years, and where. Uh, Grandfather and grandmother of Theodor Gerzl lived, and they are buried there. Um, so, uh, at the same year, uh, Central Archives ordered a um, survey of the Jewish related materials in this huge uh, collection of the Magistrate of Zemon. And uh, where they decided to do it in German because it was uh, our institution was founded by German historians and uh, uh, it was their best option because they started to do it in uh, English, and the English was so I uh, said was so bad that they decided to work uh, in German for better mutual understanding. Um, and we are kind of also proud that uh, a year and uh, two years maybe ago, uh, this archive decided to they applied for funding to the Rachel Foundation, and they decided to make this. Uh, uh, to make a uh, online project of the uh, Jewish uh, materials in the uh, Magistrate of Zemon, 
uh, and of course we know that they will use uh, what as at least uh, at least as part of the, the source materials they will use uh, our survey uh, yes this is something that is closer to uh, our conference this is a uh, survey from uh, Slovenia from our Ar archives of Slovenia in Ljubljana that we received in uh, uh, 1980, done by Markus Weninger, a research a historian in, uh, in Austria. It uh, contains, it's not very long, but I think it can be very interesting for researchers. And it contains very early materials. As you see, it's 15th century. Um, okay. Uh, as I said, uh, this uh, Museum and Federation of uh, Jewish Communities of Yugoslavia became the hub for the, what remained after the war of the uh, Jewish archives. But the uh, archives of Belgrade Jewish community itself uh, was not there because uh, uh, it was first taken by the Nazis, then it was seized by the Soviets, and, and it ended up in but ended up in uh, uh, in Moscow in, in uh, what we usually call a Sobe, which is now the uh, Russian State Military Archive, and the, another part ended up in Lviv in historical archives. Uh, and uh, f yes, this is also for Jewish uh, uh, for researchers of uh, from the field of Jewish studies in uh, in Belgrade. This usually is also news, so they are very surprised and happy to learn that um, uh, there is the, arch the archive of the Jewish community of Belgrade exists, and uh, yes, but in a strange place. Um, so, of course, and I have to say, of course, so we know that because we, for several decades, worked very um, uh, worked a lot and thoroughly in uh, Eastern Europe and in Russia. Uh, and I have to mention my colleague Benjamin Lukin, who worked in these places. Um, and uh, thanks to him, uh, we have this uh, interesting and important piece of information. Uh, so after the Six Days of War, uh, the contact uh, kind of ceased. But uh, nonetheless, in the uh, uh, 2000s, we received from here and there very unsystematically uh, different materials in digital format. Uh, I listed here some of the places we got uh, received materials uh, and uh, maybe most importantly uh, we uh, received uh, uh, marriage, uh, death and birth records uh, from uh, Sarajevo uh, archives, um, uh, from places Sarajevo and Mostar in uh, Bosnia and Herzegovina. Um, why I mention that? Because, because in 2015 uh, a, the, um, there happened a, a fire in the archives and uh, I'm uh, sure that today these materials are not accessible and they Maybe they even didn't, didn't survive the fire and then the water that they poured uh, in, uh, in, in the storage. Uh, and, uh, uh, well, we're very th thankful for this donation and uh, <coughs> uh, I won't point out, but the person who gave uh, this to us is here. So thanks to him, uh, we, we have this. Um, Yes, now I am I, mm -hmm. turning to the main point uh, of, uh, of, my, uh, of my talk. So this is how we uh, worked and continue to work and, uh, and this is what we're famous for in the central archives. However, t today we have uh, different possibilities thanks to new technologies and not so new, just technologies that appeared uh, already, well, kind of... Uh, uh, some time ago, uh, to to make it uh, also in different in, in other ways. What I mean is that um, we can uh, like our traditional activities. They are less uh, communicative. They are less of a network. They are less of uh, 
uh, being in touch with the institution. We got what we need, we're happy with it, we preserve uh, these uh, uh, treasures, uh, and that's it. Maybe we don't want to continue our cooperation. Uh, today we can uh, help the institution uh, or Jewish community make build a catalog uh, of their materials and uh, we can share it, we can uh, 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 work in many different ways and here I just listed a um, couple of uh, open source which means free softwares that enable us to do that and um, our favorite one, uh, yes, you have uh, Archive Space, uh, Atom, which is Access to Memory, which also has a uh, open source digital, uh, repo uh, digital preservation system. So you don't only, you can, uh, not, not only to make uh, the, the catalog of uh, materials or of graphic records, as we call them, but also attached to uh, to the records uh, as many scans as you wish and it will be in um, according to to today's best practices uh, so this is for instance how um, the catalog of uh, the Jewish Museum and Archives of British Columbia lo looks like uh, our favorite is uh, one is a Mecca which is very light uh, uh, light meaning like my, my, our computer uh, uh, person says that if uh, many of the programs are like uh, uh, trains, this one is like a bicycle. It's very small, it's light, uh, it's very easy to work with, uh, and uh, uh, we, we really enjoy to use it. It has it, its disadvantages, uh, however, there are, I, um, I think that. For us, it, 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 uh, it was uh, maybe the best one. Uh, so, um, when I, I was at that seminar in, uh, uh, in Belgrade, I was uh, talking in the beginning, um, there was there a nice lady from a Jewish community of Split, which is uh, an amazing community, uh, very warm and nice uh, people. Uh, they, they have a very small uh, archive and uh, very small collection, collection of um, objects that remained uh, in the community after the war, since Nazis may, made a bonfire in the central square of Split and uh, burned uh, many things. Uh, however, they did uh, have uh, some archival material, uh, old archival material, and, uh, and, and also they have a community library. So we wanted to help them out. And uh, we've made them, uh, you, you can see here the, uh, the address of the website in which they uh, already cataloged all uh, the archival holdings. I was actually, I, was, I have been in touch with them recently and I was telling maybe I uh, want to apply for some grant so that you could work more on this uh, because the community pays the lady who does this. Uh, and then they wrote me back that actually they cataloged everything and the uh, um, uh, Holocaust Museum in Washington wants to fund uh, the digitization of the whole collection so they don't see point of a plan for, for more funding. I was uh, amazed and astonished because I had no idea they, they already uh, cataloged everything. Maybe it's, I don't know, 10 big boxes or something like that, maybe less, it's, it doesn't matter. Uh, in any case, it's uh, uh, available for researchers today, uh, it's uh, user-friendly, uh, I'm very happy about this. And uh, uh, yeah, this is how it looks inside, very, very simple and easy, so um, actually almost everyone can, uh, can use the uh, like administration interface and uh, add the uh, uh, add materials and also you have an option to to send a contribution uh, via front end of the website um, and uh, also they had uh, since uh, as I said uh, they have a library so uh, we've put online the library catalog which is about 1000 uh, <coughs> books uh, not a lot also 
but uh, that's really not my point. As small as a, I, I mean, as uh, however small you are, we want uh, uh, your materials to be accessible, to be searchable, to be used. Uh, so they they already had their library catalog. They just needed to uh, put it uh, online, which required the installation of the software, which is uh, Cochin in this case, an open so uh, open source software for libraries, and the server. So both uh, sides sit in our server because for them it was really not important where where it is hosted. Um, yeah, yeah. The mo just they just wanted it to have it online. That's it. So we've hosted it on our server. And uh, yes, this is the last slide actually. So I uh, what what we're trying to achieve is to get more institutions, communities, or organizations involved, so we could uh, make some something bigger of it. Make 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 a network. Make make a joint uh, access point for researchers to search uh, these materials so that they won't need to, to go uh, on many uh, uh, websites and check all of them uh, but have some kind of sm maybe small but still a hub where they can uh, um, make their research. Um, yes, I think uh, that, that that's what I... Uh, and I, in my view, it doesn't have to be only Jewish communities or only, I don't know, Jewish libraries or only Jewish uh, educational institutions. It can be whatever. I don't uh, see point in limiting this. If uh, uh, we can make a, a catalog for each of them and then make a joint catalog like, you know, libraries usually have, in Israel we have Israel Union catalog or something like that. Uh, Yes, I think that's it. How, how is my time? I am it's okay. Okay, okay. Really that's it. <laughs> Thank you very much.